What is up guys? Welcome back to my office. We're back in the drag pack. You notice there's no seats back there. There's no seats here. I'm in a literally stripped out Dodge Challenger. Um, we will be going to the track this weekend. Then I just got it back. We're going to have lots of fun. If you don't follow my car channel, go check it out. TK's Garage. It's a fun time. Anywho, what are we here for today? Well, if I can keep the camera straight, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Galaxy Z Flip 3 5Gs. And um, what I think about both of them, I mean, first things first, I want to show you guys something. Somebody asked, is the Flip bigger or longer than the Z Fold 3? And the short answer to that is slightly, yes, it's slightly taller than the Z Fold 3. Um, which one do I like better? And here's here's my answer to that. Neither. I I like them both for their own things. For phone calls and stuff, I actually like both. All right. But if I had to have just one phone, if I had to gun to my head, just pick one device, I'd probably pick the fold just because it has I'm a creator, right? So I can shoot with this, I can edit on this, I have the S Pen, the flip case, holding it to my ear like this, using it on on the outer screen like this. And then opening it up to be able to use this much larger, big, giant display is unbeatable to me. It's a phone. It's a tablet. It's an editor. It's a note-taking device. It's it's um, it's why we won't get a Galaxy Note, I don't think, this, this year. I think this replaced the Note. And I think that's what Samsung wanted to do from the jump anyway. Getting into the differences of these, though, this is a much different device than what we're used to seeing um you know it's 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 that really long it's like think xperia x or how would you know, xperia xperia one three xperia one dot three or <laughs> you know like the super long phone that's what this is it's like basically a super long phone the cameras on here, though, actually pretty decent for what I've been messing with and using so far. Ooh, look, you can see that S21 Ultra in the background. And um, look, man, all I can tell you about this is um, I love it. For those that just want a phone that can make good phone calls, this is it. Like, it'll stay like this, which means you can hold it up to your head like this and you get that nice banana shape to be able to make the phone calls and do what you want. It's a win. It was getting it was getting hot. I had to put the AC on. The lighting in the hotel sucks, and I I literally have been waiting on my cards while I've been traveling so much, and I literally just got back from the Middle East. It's been it's been a mess the last few days. But um, if I had to pick if I had to pick one device between this and the fold, like I said, I would definitely pick the fold. This is very pocketable, where it's small. It would fit like with your wallet or with something else, and that's a win. So you could just bloop, tuck this away, call it a day, automatic win, right? Nice, small device, right? You also are still able to get your messages and all of that stuff right here on that little display, which is also a win. But for me, and we're gonna get into this now, this right here is just, People said, you know, if you had the Z Fold 2 that you shouldn't upgrade to the Z Fold 3. And I got to say you're wrong. I got to say, like, you're super friggin' wrong because, like, in my opinion, the display, way better, right? And I think it's 120, yeah, it's 120 hertz now on the front display. Nice and clean, right? And then opening it up to get in there. And the ability to be able to use the S Pen on this giant screen, it just makes this, it just makes this like one of the ultimate content creation devices that you can get right now today. I mean, I just love it. Being able to get in here, oh look at this. I just love it, man. Being able to read the news, do what I want to do. You can get multiple apps open on here if you want. And I've only been rocking out with this for a few hours. So this is just like my first impressions and talking between the two devices, which one I like the most. And if I, like I said, if I had to pick between this phone and this phone, I literally think I'm picking, I'm picking the Z Fold 3 every single time. 
just because you know I have the ability when I want to use a smaller phone to do that now granted it just turns it into a big candy bar at that point I understand that um, and that's why I got both for when I don't want to carry a big heavy phone and I have the case right here as well with the S Pen when I don't want to carry a big heavy phone that's when I'll break this out and then I can just you know <sighs> you know what I'm saying <sighs> and just keep it moving and then you know when you I love my favorite feature oh you said what oh you're calling me about my car's extended warranty eh I love that feature we're not gonna keep you here all day guys which one is the better device for you for me I love this I love the Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G but for me if it's an everyday driver for me it's this right here and this is going to become my primary device and people are saying TK it's impossible the camera can't be that good yeah we're gonna do some blind filming between this and the S21 Ultra we'll see if you guys can figure out which one is which I'm willing to bet probably not anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below questions comments things of that nature you can hit me up at uh, techtalkvids at gmail.com. And uh, you also can follow me at all the other relevant uh, social media places. Twitter, Instagram, OnlyFans. Nah, I'm just kidding. Anyways, so guys, thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.